Joining us now is Vince DeMoor. He's a former chief of district courts in the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office, where the Nilo case is taking place. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so he's entered a, a not guilty uh, plea here with DNA allegedly connecting him to the attacks. It could make it a, a difficult defense. But his attorney is saying that maybe the DNA shouldn't be admissible at all. Explain that to us. Yeah, so I, I think obviously it, this case is probably going to rise and fall on the admissibility of that DNA. And there's no such thing as an easy sexual assault prosecution. They're always difficult cases, particularly when they're older cases. But here we have several different women across several different instances, all of which are tied to that single commonality, that's that common DNA. So there are several opportunities here that I think the defense is going to try to raise in order to suppress that evidence and make sure it never gets in front of a jury. Uh, first, there's the question about whether or not the government should have gotten a search warrant to conduct uh, the genetic genealogy in the first place. And then second, whether they should have gotten a search warrant uh, to take the discarded glass or eating utensils that they took from the corporate event in New York City. So let's talk about the timing here. I'm going to put up the dates of the attacks here from 2007 to 2008. He was a student at the University of Wisconsin. Uh, I, I would assume the defense is going to talk about how he would be in Boston in all of these times. But if you actually look at the dates, it could be the time of a summer break, a Thanksgiving break, a summer break, and a Christmas break that someone could be on from school, correct? <laughs> Correct. And uh, odds are, and of course we don't know this yet, but odds are there's going to be some social media traffic or some sort of other digital uh, fingerprint or footprint uh, that's going to place him uh, in the city of Austin uh, during those four dates, or at least in those four time periods. And at a minimum, the DNA certainly puts him there. Uh, that doesn't come from nowhere. Um, and this is, this is 2008. This is number three. A Boston police officer at the time this is from the time described the M.O. of the suspect. Suspect is targeting uh, women who are by themselves uh, in the Safe Street area in the uh, late evening hours. And he would have been 19 or 20 at this time. And they are going to literally have to put him at the scene. DNA, if, they, if that DNA is not admitted, you think they could still try and do it? Oh, I think it'll be awfully difficult if that DNA is not admitted. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.